Yo, YouTubers, Mr. B here from Pint of Stuff, and I am coming right back at you with yet another sneaker unboxing, as I'm sure you can tell. Now, look at this box. This suggests to me, everyone, that we got it straight. Actually, SJ, straight from Nike. So, we shall pull for sport. Pull for sport? It doesn't normally say pull for sport, does it? Right, are we ready? Are we ready? I'm going to see if I can do this because SJ struggles with this. Pull for sport. Right, okay. These have come straight from Nike. Uh, SJ's telling me because I've, I've, I've got terrible mic craft. Straight from Nike. Uh, so let's just get them out. Let's... There we go. Uh, put that in the background. Um, okay, tappy, 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 as somebody might say. Um, what have we got here? We've got a Nike Dunk Low SP. The colorway is veneer crepe purple. There you go. Um, they're a UK 10 and a half. That makes them a US 11 and a half. And it, the code is DA1469200. Okay, let's go back to the middle, SJ. Ugh, there's just arms and stuff everywhere. Now this is... Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Um, these are one part of the so-called Ugly Duckling pack. So first of all, oh, bang. Before we go into the detail, right, let's just vroom. Now if I had done magic, you'd say, oh, that's hovering. Right, SJ, why don't we go over to this other camera because I think we're gonna need the light. Give me the light, um, as somebody once said. Uh, SJ's doing this. <laughs> I think she's raving behind the cameras. Right, there we go. Have a look at that. So it's the veneer um, shoe from the uh, Ugly Duckling Pack, so-called Ugly Duckling Pack. This is a re-release of a shoe that was originally brought out in 2001. Um, and it is the second shoe that Nike's brought out in this pack this year. The first being the plums, which we didn't get. And um, the next coming is actually, are actually the ceramic. Now we're gonna go back over here. In fact, we're gonna go over to the, this camera, SJ, come on, come with me, come with me. Um, because the light's better there. We do need a little overheady light, I think. Um, so let's have a look at the suede, first of all. You can see that the suede looks pretty phenomenal. Now they're not an SB, by all means. And we've got, we've got this green panel here, obviously, brown in the middle it's weird doing this back to front purple swoosh green there now have a look on the inside and that lime green i'm gonna bring that right to you lime green there purple laces now if we do this can i can you just see the nap of the suede i think you can i think you can they are a phenomenal shoe now obviously 2001 so the the um SP Plan B, I think. No, 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 no. Get that wrong or right, Mr. B. But anyway, before Nike SB. So, and also fat laces, flat, flat purple laces. Now, I went with a 10 and a half specifically with these. Now, I can get away with an, with an SB dunk low with an 11, and I certainly do on a high. But with these standard um, Nike shoes, because they're thinner and have less padding, than a um, than a SB dunk, I have to get them at this this sort of the the half size down. I've got to say they look phenomenal. Let me have a look in the other shoe. Now, what we can also see, in fact, actually, I'm going to just put an image probably about here um, of the ceramic, which is coming out this week, uh, which would which would complete the pack. But I've also got upstairs the Viotex, um, which came out last December. So December 19, I think. That's 2019, not the 19th of December, I think. And some people think that they were actually part of this Ugly Duckling pack originally. Only collectors called it Ugly, Ugly Duckling. Um, they weren't. They actually came out in 2002, I believe. But the materials... Um, are absolutely on point just like these and i was looking at the um, alternate lace and while i'm looking for if there's any alternate laces and i don't think there is 
Um, don't forget to come and join us on Sunday evenings where we uh, we do sneaker streaming Sunday, and um, we, we talk about shoes and things. Now let's have. I'm just having a look. There's nothing in there, SJ. What's also interesting, well, for for me as a an aficionado, aficionado of um of the old dunk is if we go deep in here and i think i'm gonna have to go to this camera sj because i need the light and i know some of you are shouting at me right now um we are going to have a look inside the shoe because if you think about it right on an sb you've got the you've also oh, that's a terrible looking shoe i don't want to do it on that it looks a mess in there if we go with this one then if, and I bring that in, you can see that there's nothing that holds your foot in there. Whereas on an SB, you've got here and here and here on either side, you've got elastic to hold your foot in a little bit more snug. You don't get that on these standard dunks. Obviously an original OG dunk sole. So have a look at that. Um, and you can tell that as well, because obviously it doesn't say SB here. They're not SBs, but also on the on the sort of SBs that we get now, we've got grooves in here. If that grooves in there as, as one of the things that you can you can look out for. And it's actually like, if you look at it, I think like the toe box is really nice. It's a different slight, you know, the tooling is ever so slightly different versus um, an SB dunk now. So the, the toe box is a little bit higher. And if you remember that I talked about the Medicom um, Nike SB dunks, from oh, a couple of months ago i talked about the toe box looking a little bit higher you can see that because on these which is which are closer to the original you know the original tooling have we come back in the middle yeah so i was talking about sneaker streaming sundays that's every sunday at about 8 p.m uk time that's 12 p.m on the west coast and yeah we talk about shoes we talk about shoes with everybody out there who watches us uh, we we show you what we've worn that week we give you peaks of the unboxings of these sort of things, but uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm getting distracted by the suede, the suede here. Now you're not going to see that. Well, you probably see it over here. You'll probably see it over here. If we come in, SJ. Can you just see, like look at that? Like that is, it's nearly felt. It is nearly felt. Like have a proper look, everyone. What a classically stunning shoe. I'm so happy that I got these. I got these on early access as well on the sneakers app. And we haven't had an early access since I think the shadows. Um, but we're going to come back over here as SJ's pointing me in the right direction. Always, always directing me from behind the camera, telling me what to do. Um, but let's have a look at the E. And we talk about the E with dunks because SJ's noticed many, many times that the E is in a slightly peculiar spot on Nike. Now let's have a look. Now we can see it's better. It's not perfect. It's SJ suggesting that the E is slightly squashed. Let's have a look over here. This camera seems to do this, these sort of things quite well. There we go. Can we just see if I just turn the shoe that way? It just looks peculiar. Um, I can tell you it doesn't look that odd. See, now I'm looking, it looks super odd. Super odd there. So one last look at the shoe, everyone. What, what do you think? Did you manage to pick these up? I know a fair few of you out there did manage to get them. Let us know in the comments below. And if you've made it this far in the video, everyone, um, don't forget to, to leave us a comment. Why don't you type veneer? And um, if you leave a comment that says veneer, and then anything else you want, we'll know that you've got this far. And I just want to say really, really a huge thank you to you. Sorry, SJ just pulled this sort of face. She went. And um, I don't really know what she was doing. But it was quite funny. She is funny behind the camera, you know. She's just doing her thing. So um, if you want to look uh, out for our Viotech video, I'm going to leave a, a link up here. And I'll also leave it in the videos over there. Now, there will be a really good one. So go and watch one of those videos. It really does help us in the algorithm. And uh, all that's left for me to say is go and watch a video. Boom. Boom. Boom.